Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rachel. If this is your first time here, welcome. And if it's not your first time here, thanks for coming back. So today I did two looks with the ColourPop Precious Metals Mega Palette. I love me some neutrals. I love me some ColourPop Mega Palettes. So for me, I was so excited to have this and create a couple of looks for you today. Whenever I do my multiple looks videos, what I usually do is I give you a little information about the collection, do some close-ups and swatches, and I'm also gonna do some comparisons as well. Then I will show you look one, look two, and I will give you my initial thoughts at the end. This is not a review. I have to use this palette more than twice to get my full and final thoughts on it, but this is just a way for me to play with it, give you my initial impressions, maybe give you some inspo if you wanna shop your stash, or if you're thinking about picking up the palette, this could help you decide. I will link this collection down below in the description box, and I will list everything I'm wearing on my face in both looks, and let's do it. So we have the Precious Metals Mega Palette. I did receive this in PR from ColourPop. I was so thankful because honestly, if I wasn't going to receive it, I was going to buy it. Because as soon as I saw the promo photos for this, I was excited. I was really, really excited. We have a great mixture of warm and cool tones in here, and it's all neutral, which is right up my alley. The description says it's giving luxurious with the ultimate range of every metal in matte metallic, pearlescent glitter and matte sparkle finishes, create everyday neutral looks, warm bronze glam or silver smoky eyes with 30 shades in one palette. The palette retails for $35. I do not personally have a code with ColourPop, but there are codes floating around out there. So if you wanna use a code to save some more money, you could do that. Also in this collection, I'm not using in today's video, they did come out with uh, a whole bunch of new Jelly Much shadows. I will be using these in a future testing new makeup video, but I wanted to focus on the palette today, but this is what it looks like. It comes in a really cute little component. There are six new shades. And in here we have this little, little jar, if you will. I have not used the Jelly Much shadows in years. I used them when they first came out and I was not really a fan, if I'm gonna be honest, but I am looking forward to using these so many years later to see if maybe the formula has changed. But I will pop up some swatches of all of the Jelly Much shadows so that you can see them. So it says, make them jelly with our innovative gel shadow that delivers vibrant metallic color in one swipe. Its unique water-based formula saturates the pigment for immediate intense color right on application. The shades look beautiful, all kind of mixed metal shades. I'm loving, loving the colors. And something else they included in the PR package were these earrings, how adorable. And it says, to go with your new metallic glam and the mixed metal jewelry trend, we're also sending you mixed metal ribbon heart earrings from On Road Jewelry and Joy Bestie. So they are mixed metal, which I think is so fun. I don't have a lot of mixed metal pieces. So I think these are cute. Let me know if you picked anything up from the collection. I would love to know. It is all available, so I will link it down below. I had some requests to compare this to the Sigma Cool Neutrals palette. Uh, I'll tell you right away, they're not alike at all. <laughs> just, just knowing that, having it in my hands, but I will, of course, do a comparison for you anyway. So here is what the Sigma Cool Neutrals palette. Well, one thing they have in common is they have extremely reflective packaging, which is unfortunate. I'm trying to think of how to, I always never know how to hold this stuff. Okay, I'm gonna do the best I can to hold these up because they're both super reflective. So the Sigma palette has, in my opinion, pretty much all cool toned except for maybe two shades. So heavily, heavily cool toned in terms of the Sigma palette. The other thing is in the Sigma palette, there are way more varying undertones in my opinion. So in the Sigma palette, we have a quad of like true neutrals. Then we have more purple leaning shades. Like these are definitely reading pinky purple on the lip. And then we have grays and even a blue leaning shade. So we have a little more variety in terms of undertones, but all cool tones apart from these two shades. Like everything in this is cool toned. <laughs> in the ColourPop palette, we have a, a fully cool toned side. Like if I covered this side up, but as you can see in the ColourPop palette, there's not a ton of variety in terms of undertone. You are getting more of a cool toned gray, a black, white, kind of silver line. And then these two are very brown based. There's no sort of purple in here. There might be a, a couple that lean a little taupey with a slight pink undertone, but they're definitely not purple, not pinky at all whatsoever. So there's the difference there. And then on the side with the warm tones, it's very warm tone. Oranges, reds, pure golds. 
much more warm tone. And even these two shades here in the Sigma palette, this mustard shade, I love this mustard matte shade called Superior. They don't have an equivalent of a mustard shade in the color pop, which I feel like makes this super unique and beautiful because I just love a mustard matte. So in terms of those differences, I don't feel that they are similar by any means. And the other thing is, I feel like when you compare two palettes that are so differing in size, it is like comparing apples to oranges. Like they're, they're not gonna be the same just based on the sheer number of shades that there are. If you have the Sigma, do you need this? I mean, again, that just depends on your preference. Like I feel that I would love to have both and I would love to have this more for the warm tones, personally. The other thing that this Sigma palette doesn't have is like a true silver. And this has a true silver and even a white silver, which a lot of cool tone palettes have silvers. This Sigma palette does not have like a true silver. So the other thing is formula wise, they're not the same. I think the Sigma mattes are way more pigmented. Uh, the ColourPop mattes are good. Like I'm not saying they're not good, they're, they're very easy to use. I find that these are a little more pigmented and I like the shimmers from Sigma a little bit more. They're a little bit shinier, but I would say they're not outrageously different in terms of shimmer formula. The other thing that ColourPop has that Sigma doesn't have is ColourPop has these glitter hybrids. They're calling them pearlescent glitters, a couple of them thrown in. So if you like that formula, of course, this is gonna have that, the Sigma palette's not. I hope that was thorough enough for you. Something else I just briefly pulled out of my collection are two more ColourPop mega palettes. So I have the Smoke and Hot palette. This was in my top 10 palettes of last year. I love this palette because I love warm tones. So this is what Smoke and Hot looks like. And this is what Precious Metals look like. Now, if we just simply look at the, at the warm tone side, this is really hard to hold up because it's so reflective. I'm so sorry. Trying, trying to figure out how to do this. 346 minutes later. Okay, I think this is the best I'm gonna do, unfortunately. I'm sorry, I know this is not ideal. But as you can see, the Smoke and Hot palette and the, the second half of this Precious Metals palette, there are similar similarities in terms of the warm tone neutrals. I do feel that this Smoke and Hot palette is all warm tones clearly a lot more variety of warm tones this is giving you like your basic warm tones so if you are more into a mixture of warm and cool this might be better for you this is just all warm tones like if you're not a warm tone lover you're probably not going to want a palette full of warm tones like i do but i'm you know i'm not going to sit here and swatch shade by shade but i'm willing to bet whatever warm tone shades you can make in this you can make in this and then we have Bare Necessities, which is another really great mega palette. And this one actually, I feel maybe might be the closest in terms of shades. Again, I don't think they're dupes because I also do feel like Bare Necessities has a good mix of warm and cool-ish, maybe more neutral and warm. But again, I think the Precious Metal has more cool, like true cool tones. Judging by this column, I'm using my nose to, to show you. This column right here, <laughs> the black, white, grayscale kind of, column there does not exist in the bare necessities and bare necessities leans a little more pinky mauve so those are kind of the differences in terms of all of these palettes um i really do like the fact that this has that mixed metal look to it where we have golds we have silvers that type of thing so really beautiful palette so excited to have it in my possession was gonna buy it anyway all right, I think that's all I have to say. I'm gonna send you off to look number one. Then I will show you look number two, which is what I'm wearing on my face right now. And then I will come back to give you my initial thoughts. I'm pretty sure I already said this, but I will list everything down below in the description box I'm wearing on my face in both looks. And also, if you enjoy this, give this a thumbs up. Uh, that helps me a lot. It lets me know that you like multiple looks videos. Let me know. Okay, so I'm gonna do a look with the precious metals and believe it or not, I kinda wanna play with like the cool tones today. That's what I'm thinking. I have already primed my eyes and I'm going to go in with the shade Own It right here, which looks like a taupey color. And I'm just going to put this through my crease. All right, that color is pretty close to my skin tone, but it did provide a little bit of a transition shade. Next, I wanna go in with the shade Total Rockstar, which is a cool tone brown, and just put that a little lower in the crease.
The mattes blended great. I mean, I think I mentioned before, but I really like the matte formula in these mega palettes. I think typically they're really good. Next, I'm gonna go in with my best asset, which is another cool tone brown, just a little darker. There's a lot of kick up in the pan with these. I'm just gonna put this in the outer corner. Let's just add a little black, just to deepen it up even more. It's called let's do it, let's do it. <laughs> let's just add this in the very outer corner, lots of kick up in the pan just to make it even smokier. I wanna go in with this shade called That's On Periodic, <laughs> which looks like a little stepped up. It's like, I feel like ColourPop has different levels of metallics. They have the ones that are kind of like just standard, not super shiny metallics, and they have ones that are a little more stepped up and then they have the glitter hybrids. I feel like this is the middle tier where there are, yeah, see there's shininess to it. There is some, not sparkles, but there's a little more shine, but it's not as shiny as the glitter hybrids, obviously. And I put the next glitter primer down on my lid. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. Now, I was gonna say that I'd like to do a wing using this black, but I find with blacks that have that much kick up in the pan that are that crumbly, doing a wing with it, it will end up falling down even throughout the day. So I am actually just going to use a black li liquid liner to create a wing and get some more makeup on my face and I will come back and we can finish up the look together. 12 seconds later. I'm back. I actually forgot that I wanted to just tap into the shade called So Metal, which is one of the glitter hybrid shades. I wanna tap it over and let's see if that does, yeah, see that does add a little bit of sparkle. Yeah, look, pretty. Yeah, we needed that. Okay, now I'll be right back. All right, I am back. Let's finish up the lower lash line. In my waterline, I'm first gonna put in ColourPop's Brouhaha. I had to go out of frame for that one, but trust me, I, I just did it. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush. I'm gonna go into that black shade called Let's Do It. I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna spray the brush because like I said, it's definitely very crumbly. And then I'm gonna push this up against my lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna go in with a small pencil brush and I'm gonna go into Total Rockstar and just blend that out. I'm gonna try the shade Iced Out, this like really pretty white silvery shade in my inner corner. Super pretty. All right, and this is finished to look number one. What do you think? I think it came out really cute. I mean, you guys know I'm a neutral lover and this is cool toned without being too gray. I mean, I definitely could have gone more gray toned. There are those options over here, especially on this uh, column over here, but I made it more cool toned brown. It's not even that cool tone. It looks more neutral, but anyway, this is, this is how it ended up. Sometimes in my head, I think it's going one way and it ends up going another way, but needless to say, in the end, I do really like how this came out. It's really pretty. It's very much in my comfort zone. The shimmer that I used right here, that's on periodic. It is, like I said, more of their standard shimmer that's kicked up a notch, but I wouldn't say that it's anything too special. And I did tap over that glitter hybrid shade. So that added a little extra sparkle, but yeah, I mean, so far based on these two shimmers or three shimmers, I should say, cause I use these. I don't think that these shimmers are different than the recent past mega palettes just upon those that use. Of course, like I said, this is not a review, but okay, I'm gonna send you off to the next look now. All right, we're gonna do a second look with the Precious Metals palette. And if you can't tell by my little hoodie that I'm wearing, I wanna go warmer today. I've already primed my eyes. I'm gonna go in to this shade called Invest In Me, which is a really warm brown, and just put this through the crease.
Next, I'm gonna go in with the shade Your Solid and just put this a little lower in the crease and in the outer corner. I think I wanna try the shade called Lucky One, which looks a little bit more red in tone. I don't know how different it's going to look, but let's just try it. I think that added a little bit more depth. I do apologize for the background noise. I'm doing laundry and listen, this is, this is the life I live. <laughs> I film in my tiny apartment right next to my laundry. I'm gonna put the NYX Glitter Primer all over my lid. I'm gonna go in with the shade Minding Mine, which is a red metallic, and just tap this on the lid so you Wow, look at that. <sighs> Beautiful. Ooh, I love that. It's so yummy to me, I love it. I went a little crazy with my blush. Oops. Let's finish up the rest of the eye look together. I'm gonna take a flat definer brush and I'm gonna go into the shade Lucky One, that reddish shade, and just push this up against my lower lash line. I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush into You Are Solid and blend that out. Then I'm gonna take a really fluffy brush and go in Invest In Me and blend that out. I'm gonna do a matte inner corner highlight today, so I'm gonna take the shade Feel the Chemistry and pop this in my inner corner. I think I wanna add just a little pop of shimmer on the lower lash line. Maybe this gold called Strike Gold. I'm gonna pick this up and spray it and just put it on the inner part of my lower lash line. Oh yeah, that's really pretty, I like that. Ooh, I love that. And in my waterline, I'm going to use ColourPop's Joyride. All right, I'm gonna pop off camera, finish out my look, and then I will be back to show you the final look and give you my initial thoughts on this palette. All right, and this is finished look number two. What do you think? I love warm neutrals. So you know that I'm loving this look. <laughs> so let me give you a lowdown on my first and second impressions on the Precious Metal palette. I think this is the good usual mega palette quality that I expect from ColourPop. I don't think that there's anything super special or different about this palette compared to their other mega palettes. But with that being said, I really enjoy the mega palette formula from ColourPop. The mattes are good, blendable, easy to use. Not overly pigmented, but very user-friendly shadows. And I do like the variety of warm and cool tones in here. If you like warm and cool tones and you want a palette with warm and cool tones, this is a great one, a great one. A great selection of shimmers as well, different shimmer formulas. Like I said, I feel like they've been doing that though with their mega palettes. So yeah, really, really enjoy this palette. I'm gonna get a lot of use out of this. I do really love this warm tone set a lot, but I also like the pulling in of the cool tones as well. So yeah, I mean, I'm really excited to continue using this. It will show up in a palette ranking in the future once I've really fully had my thoughts testing it, but I hope this was helpful. I will create another look on short form content for sure, but unfortunately I really only had time to do two looks here on YouTube in a, in a long form format, but I would love to know, did you pick up this palette? Are you thinking about it? Let me know your thoughts because I love hearing from you. And if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot when you do that. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would consider subscribing before you leave. I do upload videos weekly and I'd love to see you back on my channel again. I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.